Hi, I'm Joey Panic, and you are watching Art Whisperer TV. If you visit g -Wiz Science Museum in the next month, you'll notice a certain fad going on around, a new fashion, 3D glasses. It's all to celebrate a new exhibit called Avatar to Art, the 3D works of Jeff Hazelton. Jeff is a local artist who makes his home downtown Main Street in some guy's art studio. I'm gonna to talk to Jeff and find out what the deal is with the 3D, why it's back, and he's gonna take us around, show us part of his exhibit. This is Jeff Hazelton, the man behind the 3D exhibit. Jeff, we have seen 3D in the 50s, and then it came back in the 80s, and now it's had this huge resurgence. It's in all the movie theaters, and all of the big blockbusters are coming out in 3D pictures. Can you explain what's happened to it, why it's come back to us? The 50s were considered the golden age of 3D, where a lot of the, in the theaters you had horror movies and things like that with things flying out of the screen, um, but uh, the technology really wasn't quite there. So in the 80s, another camera technology came out, which made it easier for filming in 3D. But now what we have is digital projectors in the movie theaters. So that means that all of the precision that goes into making a 3D movie can then be displayed and distributed to, m to mass audiences. 3D is, is here to stay. So it started in the movie theaters. It's now moving into people's living rooms. So hopefully in more ways than one, you know, I'd like to see di digital paintings in people's living rooms. The great thing is uh, that, you know, the, the artwork looks good, you know, on its own, but then when you put the glasses on, it's a whole new experience. All right, so when we put the glasses on, what is one thing that we should definitely make sure to look for or notice in each piece? You know, let your brain adjust to seeing the, the art because it takes a, it takes a few minutes even. Uh, you know, you'll start to see things right away, but the more that your mind gets used to seeing it and perceiving it in 3D, the more that you'll start to see. The marquee piece, I would say, is called Disruption. It uh, was inspired by the oil spill uh, that, that happened. Um, and I think it wasn't intentional, it just, it happened, and I was working on the piece, and it just, it's, you know, spilled over into what I was doing. Um, and I think it really speaks, it's, uh, it's not like it's, uh, it's meant to be a big statement or anything, but I think, you know, you look at it and anybody, a lot of people have looked at it and said, you know, oh, that's the oil spill. There's a lot of different abstract pieces, um, and then some that are a little bit more representational of, uh, you know, of actual objects, which, you know, on a microscopic level at least. So come to opening night tonight. It's from 6 to 10, and tonight is free. The exhibit goes through August 1st, where it will be no extra charge beyond your museum admission. 3D glasses will be provided to you, or if you'd like to upgrade, you can pick up these snazzy glasses. 3D isn't going anywhere, and they're nice to look at. I'm Joey Panic. I'm the Art Whisperer, and I'll see you around town.